The news day continues here on One News Now. I'm Pauline Verzosa. The number of active Mpox cases in the country has now climbed to five. This comes after the health department confirmed two more cases. The latest patients are from Metro Manila and Calabarzon region. The patient in NCR is a 26-year-old female whose rashes and fever started on August 20. In Calabarzon, a 12-year-old male patient's symptoms began last August 10. A DOH secretary, Ted Herbosa, says more MPOX cases are being detected due to heightened surveillance. An alleged human trafficking victim denied earlier reports that they requested to be rescued from the Kingdom of Jesus Christ compound in Davao. And to get more information about this, we have our mobile journalist Ivan Tarinke joining us live from Davao City. Ivan, good morning. Ano ba raw talaga ang nangyari? At uh, bakit dininay uh, nitong alleged victim ng human trafficking uh, yung reports na na-rescue nga siya ng authorities? So Pauline, base doon sa pakikipag-usap natin dito sa alleged victim, no? at kinonsum niya na hindi talaga siya nagpaparescue. No? Nag-aalala lang daw kasi sa kanya. Yung mga kamag-anak niya, lalo na nga daw sa mga nakikita nila sa social media. Kaya nga, nung pinuntahan sila dito sa may compound, ay hinarang daw. So tumulong na o lumapit na ito ang kanina kamag-anak sa kapulitan. At doon na nga nangyari. Ah. Nga, narescue na nga sila ng uh, DSWD eh. pero nga sinabi niya rin kahapon no dun sa may sa aming pakikipag-usap eh pagkatapos daw nila ma-release dito sa DSWD eh bumalik din daw siya kaagad dito sa loob hmm. ng compound. Okay, so, Evan, linawin lang natin no. Dininay niya yung uh, pag-rescue o yung request na magpa-rescue. Pero uh, ano yung uh, sinabi niya tungkol sa mga alleged human trafficking? Uh, victim nga ba talaga siya nito diyan sa Davao? Yes. Pulin, hindi niya sinabi na victim siya. No? Sabi niya nga willing na willing siya mag-stay sa loob na itong uh, compound. No? Kani, uh, meron nga siya, tukong niya sa interview namin sa kanya, sabi niya yung, uh, parang gusto niya nang i-devote yung the rest of her life dito nga sa pagsisilbe o yung pagsiserve dito nga sa KOJC. Okay, um, Evan, uh, meron ding mga reports ano, na may ilang uh, pulis daw uh, na may bit-bit na mga baril uh, dyan sa, sa vicinity ng compound ng KOJC. Ano? Gano'ng katotoo yung mga reports na yun? Yes, Pauline. Uh, luckily, no, kahapon pinayagan ng media na makapasok sa loob ng compound. No? And uh, visibly, uh, mataas pa rin yung, uh, hype, uh, yung mga visible pa rin yung ating mm -hmm. kapulisan sa loob. Yun nga, at nakita nga natin, no? Yung ibang polis talaga, may dala talaga ang mga armas. So we can confirm that dahil kami mismo, kami mismo nga mem membro ng media, pagpasok namin, ay eh, nakita talaga namin na halos patong-patong na yung mga kanilang armas dito sa loob. Nga, taliwas nga lang doon sa sinabi ni President Bongkong Marcos na walang pamakakapasok na armas dito sa loob ng compound. Pauline? Okay, Evan, bakit kaya um, ito nga, bakit armed na yung mga police? Are they expecting uh, tensions to uh, to rise in the coming days uh, dito sa paghahanap pa rin nila kay Pastor Apollo Kibuloy? Yes, Pauline, we're still confirming kung bakit uh, uh, may mga dala silang armas. Pero what we've noticed no, this past mm -hmm. few days is talagang meron talagang may mga, naglalakad din uh, vicinity na may dala talagang armas. So, mm -hmm. Parang uh, it is part Parang naging, parang naging, uh, yun nga lang, naging paikot-ikot na rin dito sa labas. So, we're still confirming talaga ako uh, bakit may mga nakapasok na armas. Pero, ay clarify lang natin na hindi naman lahat ng uh, kapulisan sa loob ay may dalang armas. Dahil mm -hmm. yung iba talaga ay uh, riot shield at baton lang yung uh, kanilang dala. Pulin. Okay, um, Evan, um, lumabas na nga yung classification or um, more clarity ano, dito sa temporary protection order na nilabas. Uh, dyan sa Davao and um, it states ano, na yung barricades lang ang pinapatanggal exactly. Um, but can you tell us more also about um, dito sa temporary protection order at uh, linawin natin no, ano ba talaga yung um, kasama doon? Yes, Pauline, no, this past few days nga nagkaroon ng confusion. Yung uh, ilang miyembro ng KOJC, akala nila makakaalis na yung uh, mga kapulisan dito sa loob at labas ng kanilang compound. Pero uh, ito nga, doon siya inilabas sa TPO at lalo na sa may uh, classification. No? Sinabi talaga na barriers lang yung uh, tatanggalin at yun nga. Barriers lang ang tatanggalin at yung, uh, yung warrant, ara, warrant for arrest warrant ay tuloy-tuloy mm -hmm. pa rin. Hindi daw ito na nanalify. 
Pauline. Okay, maraming salamat sa lahat ng iyong updates mula dyan sa Davao City, Evan Tarinke, our mobile journalist. Now, the Justice Department defended the Philippine National Police over their continuous search for Kingdom of Jesus Christ leader, Pastor Apollo Kibuloy. The DOJ insisted the serving of arrest warrant in the KOJC compound is lawful. They said this after the Davao court issued a temporary protection order in which the police were told to remove barricades around the KOJC compound. Despite the temporary protection order, the police did not leave the area and still continued their search for the fugitive pastor. Now for the latest on the weather, while well, some areas of the country will still experience rains due to habaga. Occasional rains are expected over Zambales, Bataan, Occidental Mindoro, and Palawan. Metro Manila, Western Visayas, Negros Island Region, Calabarzon, and Pangasinan, as well as Tarlac, Pampanga, Bulacan, and the rest of Mimaropa are likely to experience scattered rains. Meanwhile, isolated rains are also expected over Bicol Region and the rest of Central Luzon and Visayas. An official from the Justice Department says Alice Guo's sister, Sheila, could be a state witness. The details in this report by Mayan Los Baños. After facing the Senate and coming clean about how she and her siblings fled the Philippines, can Sheila Go now become state witness? The Justice Department said it's possible. Ako, ayoko naman pangunahan, ano? pero qualified siya eh. Kasi kung tutusin mo, hindi naman siya yung pinaka, pinaka may pakanan itong mga illegal na, illegal na bagay. Um, this, um, kung, kung maniniwala tayo kahapon sa mga asta niya, eh parang um, nadami lang siya or na... Na, na, napahamak lang siya na makakasamahan niya. No? However, Justice Secretary Boying Rimulya himself doesn't think Sheila Go's testimony holds water. Hindi ako naniniwala kay Sheila, kay Sheila Go. Hindi ako naniniwala sa kanya mga sinasabi. Uh, puro I don't know, kas, puro malalabo ang sagot. Hindi reliable eh. Yung reliability ng kanya mga sinasabi yung problema natin eh. Hindi siya reliable witness so far. Kailangan talaga patunayan na kailangan-kailangan yung kanyang testimonya upang uh, mangyari ang lahat. She earlier revealed that she and her siblings took three boats to Malaysia, which Remulia said sounds impossible. Uh, Unang-una, hindi ako naniniwala si Alice ko sasakay na fishing boat ng tatlong araw para makarating sa Sabah. Mala, para ma ma marahil mahirap paniwalaan. Eh, Sobra namang... Daling nila na sumakay sila para sine, uh, fishing boat pa. Eh yun nga, hindi nga natanong, natanong yung mga detalye nun. Eh, saan ka matutulog sa fishing boat? Tatlong araw kang kasakay doon. Eh napakasungit pa ng dagat. Kaya ba nila yun? Di ba, sobrang hirap naman yun. In any case, Yusek T says it's not something being considered for now. Huwag muna natin masyado patulan ang posibilidad na ito. Ano pa lang ito, forward thinking ito. Madami pa talaga kailangan mangyari bago, bago maging state witness ito. Kung mangyari man yun. For now, Sheila Go and Lucky South 99 representative Cassandra Leong are facing charges for disobedience to legislative summons after they failed to show up for previous Senate hearings. Sheila has also been charged with violating the Philippine Passport Act for allegedly using a fake Philippine passport. Ong, meanwhile, has been charged with obstruction of justice for harboring, concealing, and facilitating the escape of a criminal offender. The Senate, on the other hand, will continue to press Alice Go's sister for more information. Senator Risa Hontevero said there are details that Sheila Go mentioned that checks out with information previously gathered. However, she adds... Sheila may still be hiding something. Meanwhile, the DOJ is looking to wrap up their investigation on whether government officials had any hand in facilitating Alice Go's escape. They're hoping to fast-track the release of the investigation results with the help of the NBI and the Bureau of Immigration. President Marcos has said he now has a very good idea on who aided the Go's. For News 5, Mean Los Baños, we are One News. Now, in other news, China has rejected Defense Secretary Gibo Teodoro's statement about the Middle Kingdom being the biggest disruptor of peace in Southeast Asia. China's Foreign Ministry spokesperson Lin Jian claimed that China is the last one that can be accused of disrupting peace. He also said the Philippines should stop stirring up troubles and making provocations against China. I recall that Teodoro made such statement after the recent incident in the West Philippine Sea. 
And those are the top stories of the hour this morning. I'm Pauline Verzosa. We are One News.